Hey guys, it's Yvette. <laughs> Welcome to day four of the Vlogmas for my channel. Um, I am going to be opening those next windows in our advent calendars. I don't know why I said our and my <laughs> advent calendars. Um, I just got my hair cut tonight. Um, and my stylist, he cuts my hair and then he puts this really great stuff in it and like makes it look amazeballs. And then I came home and I laid down and Smudgy laid on my lap and then I kind of, I, I might have fallen asleep. Just, just a tiny bit, just a little bit like that, a little bit. <laughs> anyway, um, so it got a little, it got a little crazy and messed up, but that's all right. Um, I think you still know it's me. So let's start with cotton cuts. Okay, cotton cuts box and take off the lid and I'm gonna pull out day four. Here is day four. I'll scooch the box over and let's see what our fat quarter is for today. This is kind of exciting. I know you guys must be excited too. It says, don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid not to try. And somebody asked me if these were stickers. They are not stickers. They are just a very nice shiny piece of paper and um, with lovely sayings on them. That's what it is. Okay. And here is the fabric. You guys, okay, if I'm I the only one that this is screaming Easter to, doesn't that look like Easter? That's so cool. Um, okay, so let me see if I can find a selvage in here. Yes, no, uh-oh. Not this time, guys. This time there is not a sell. Well, there is a selvage, obviously, but it's the part that doesn't have the the name of the fabric on it. So I don't know who this fabric is for, um, what the collection is, or anything like that. But it's super cute, and it's kind of going with my little pink theme, which I'm very happy about. Um, okay, so that's my cotton cuts. And now we are going to um, see what is in the Stitch Supply Company box. Um, I think that it's pretty universal or pretty darn close anyway that we were all kind of disappointed with yesterday's three little gift tags. Y'all know that I, I find it very impossible for me to hide <laughs> my true feelings. So, um, you know, while I appreciate everything that's in the box, I'm sure a lot of thought went into it. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't real pleased with having three gift tags in day number three. Um, I, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. But now we're going to open day four. So let me pop that one open. Okay, day four, I have three little pieces of squigglies and I have, um, okay, so I have three wonder clips, which, you know, you can never have too many wonder clips as far as I'm concerned. I got about a million and then it's, it was um, clipped to something that says clip and pin cushion pattern so okay so you are supposed to be able to make this um little pin cushion right there and there is a hexi template and then there's like instructions it says quilt the top fabric to batting as desired Repeat for the bottom fabric and batting. Use your creativity to create unique pieces such as quilt as you go or embroidery stitch designs. After quilting, use the hexi template to cut out a hexi shape from each of your quilted pieces. Okay, so it looks like they just want you to take a piece of fabric with some batting, any size, as long as it's larger than that, obviously, and quilt it and embroider on it and do whatever you want. And then use this guy to cut it out. And then, sorry, my ear itches now. I, everything just taking turns. It was my nose for the longest time. Now my ears. I don't know. Go figure. Um, and then 
they're saying that you should create some tabs. So if you see those little stripy parts, those are like some little tabs that they have um, made and then like sewed inside the seam allowance. And you can then connect Wonder Clips to that. Um, it says you can fill it with some crushed walnut shells and then hand stitch it closed. And there you go. So basically we got this little pattern and three wonder clips for day number four. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this back in there. I'm trying to just kind of keep them in there. I don't know why, but I don't really know why yet. I have no idea, maybe just so that I don't lose everything. I can just have it all in one spot. And it obviously fits nice, nice in the little thing there. So, okay, so I'm gonna put that one back so we have those done. And now, in my um, stitchy box, I have to try to find day four. Theirs are not like, they're just, I don't mean this in a bad way, but they're kind of just tossed in. <laughs> so the numbers are all like, I have to find it. You know, you saw the box. Okay, so now I'm looking for day four. All righty, here we go. There's day five. That one makes a noise. Um... I'm sure this is riveting for you. <laughs> I know you're probably saying that I should just like have them all in order, but I, you guys, y'all know I'm not that organized. I don't have time to be that organized, really. What is this? Oh, they get bigger to the bottom. Oh, here's day four. It's the one of the sort of bigger ones. It's a little bit bigger than uh, the first three anyway. Little bag. Okay. Close that up. Okay, so let's see what's in day four. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, day four is a gingerbread house pin. Add some extra flash to your Christmas sweater with this fabulous pin or add it to your pin collection. It would also make an excellent addition to a gift that needs a little something extra. Okay, I collect enamel pins, guys. Um, especially like quilty ones, but really any enamel pins. I mean, as long as they're cute. You know what I mean. I don't have to explain. Y'all know. Um, why is it? You know what? How many times does your necklace float around like that? And why doesn't it ever like just float to there? Inquire in mind. Uh, okay, I'm sorry by the Penny Paper Company. This is a cute little, like I would call it a gingerbread house myself. I think it is so stinking cute. And it's gonna look great on my my pin wall. So um, this one's very nice. I'm very happy with day four and the stitchy box, that's for sure. Um, okay, so those are all my advent calendars. And I've been saying that I was going to open the uh, Just Another Button Company, and I'm going to open that now. And it comes in a little bag like this. <laughs> Got a little sticker on the back that says Happy Mail. And let's check it out. Now, again, the, um, the Just Another Button Company buttons come every other month. So... It's, you don't get this one every month. Okay, so there it is. And here is the little tin. They now come in a little tin that you can see through. And see, this is last month's. I think it's last month's. Um, and on the back, it tells you, um, well, that's one of the buttons that's going to be inside. And we'll have to find all of the good ones. All right, so you just unscrew the top and you have all of the buttons 
You can see they're all in there, green and red, and there's some white ones. Um, and we have a little house button. Let me flip that that way and I can put them there. We have a cute little Christmas tree button. And I'm going to figure out what the words spell. There's always words on buttons. Um, and you get each letter. There's one letter on each one. So I'm going to get through there. Here is that. Um, it's a 3D sort of button. Well, I mean, they all are. But, like, you see how it kind of has, like, this piece sort of sticking out a little. It's got some holly. That's so pretty. Um, I love whenever they throw in, like, buttons like this. Because it's like, it's not a decorative one per se, but they're still like really cute because it's a little square button. Um, okay, we have a little gingerbread button. And, oops, I see something down here. We have a little peppermint button. Ooh! We have a very little, little peppermint button. And, okay, so we're, we have like some little heart buttons. And I'm going to start taking some out so that I can. And these, they're all like, they're all red and mostly green. But there are a few red ones, and they're just like those kinds of um, designs. It's not like they are um, enamel. They're just, this is one that's sort of like clear. And I'm just making sure there are no more that are like decorative that I need to pull out and show you. And so the letters that we received, I've pulled them all out now. Did I? Nope, they're all just red and green like you just saw. Um, and so now I'll show you that we have an M. E. R. R. Why? Mary. <laughs> and um, so here are the little decorative buttons that we got. I just pulled those out and showed them to you. And then I have also op opted to get the sprinkles. Um, if you, there's two different ways that you can get them. You can either just get the tin or you get the tin and the sprinkles. And it's two different price points. So you just go to their site and you can see the difference. Um, and the sprinkles just come, um, they're mostly green again to go with, um, They'll always color coordinate with the tin that you get. Um, so most of these are green, but you can see in the back that there's like a couple of little white um, snowflakes and there's some little bitty red ones inside. And you'll see that the green ones will have like heart shapes, star shapes, little round ones. It's always this sort of design. Um, and they call these the sprinkles. So that's my Just Another Button Company and I hope you've had a very good time tonight watching me open all of these things. They're very super cute. I'm going to give you links to all um, or to this, this special little Just Another Button company. So you can go and check that out. See if it's something that you like. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.